Oh, here we go. Hey, look. Look what I got finally. Mango. It says mango blend. Wait a second. Not from country. Well, let me read this. Okay. Organic mango puree. Okay. Organic apple juice. Organic lemon juice. Okay, great. But what I, I noticed the color. It's, it's the thick one. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. I'm a mango juice addict. Like I got some mango, I got some mango up there in the, up there, up there in the kitchen. It's like I need to go out and get some uh, my goat's milk yogurt because I have real mango, you know. But the the other, the, not the not the ones you used to the little aren't the little yellow ones like that. I like those anyway. Wait a second. And I like to take my juice warm. Well, you know, when it first comes out, I gotta put it in the refrigerator, blah, blah, blah. Because you, you know what you're supposed to do? Because your body is supposed to take the thing in, like not real cold, it shock your system. Maybe I wanna shock their system. No, you're supposed to swish around your mouth to get it used to. No, don't worry about that part. I finally got. Hey, you know, I told you, I told you about this book. Breathe. I used to call it breath. I say breath, breathe. I don't care. Like right, this guy, James Nestor. This is the book I'm reading. I told you every any morning I just to, to take a little bit like that because I want to just go slow, slow, slow on it. Well, this morning I finally got to what I put. So you know, when you get a book, you know, you start looking at the thing here. You know, they get all the praises and blah, 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 blah. Then they may tell you something. Like, but they, what interests me is they say something about blood pressure. And I'm going like, Hmm, because I've always wondered about blood. See, I've always been all athletic most of my, well, my young life, athletic, you know, do all kinds of things like that. Even in my, I mean, do capoeira, Angola, you know, all kinds of things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, whatever. But the thing is, I'm like, why am I, what? When I first started travel, when I first went to the doctor, they said, your, your blood pressure is getting, is, is, is borderline, you know, so it's like, like getting up there. And I never understood why, what's, what's going on with that? Then I was, well, I, I was listening in Cape Town, this program called The Scientists Always Came On, like, they could answer your science questions, you know, like, like the science guy they got here, right? Well, this guy had said one something that, that stuck with me, he said, there's a flight or fight, a f fight or flight mechanism that you have in you, you know, and every time it's cut, then, then adrenaline gets released. Now, here's the thing. If you're a black person in America, even when the, 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 the siren, the cop siren come, you, you can feel, you can feel the adrenaline pop in your body. You know, like, you know, in the neighborhood and the dog comes, you know, you can feel, you know what I'm talking about, you feel like that. That's that adrenaline getting released. Now, if that, you're being, if you're not calm, if you don't do your meditation or whatever have you, and you're constantly, constantly uh, uh, getting that adrenaline, tick, 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 that's affecting your blood pressure. <laughs> you know? Well, anyway, that's what I thought. I mean, I have no proof of that. Y'all go figure that out. But, I came to this part of the book that I was waiting for. Blood pressure part. I, got, I had to get a new a new marker because I lost, I don't know what happened to my yellow one. It's went around, but this has the yellow one side, the orange on the other side. So, you know, I put, I got to have a system. See, I got to put the thing that, here's what I'm reaching. There's a little part here. Says, this guy, this guy, he had blood pressure, high blood pressure problem all his life. You know, he's, uh, this is on page uh, 90. See how slow I'm reading? It's on page 90. And, uh, oh, I don't know when you said research. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me read this part here. Uh, the other page. Uh, I'll leave that part alone. When war ended, talk about this guy, this, uh, I think it's a Russian guy. Yeah, Russian guy from Ukraine, right? He said, when the war ended, I decided to start researching the most complex machine, the man, he said. I thought, uh, if I learned him, I would be able to diagnose his diseases as easily as I diagnose machine disorders. So this is like a mechanic in the world. He's like a big time guy who's on, you know, World War II front or something like that, or World War I front, whatever front he was on, you know. And then we got back in World War II front fixing cars and, and tanks and, and artillery, stuff like that. So, when, but when we got out to war, he wanted to, to study, you know, the body. So that's, that's, that's what he started to do. And he says, uh, well, let me just skip over this. So, oh, so and it's interesting because you know there used to be a saying like we know more about your you know you know more about your car than you know about your body. So this, this the guy's like that, okay. So he's anyway. So he had this problem with whatever, and then he was working with this like asthma people, whatever have you. So he goes to this thing. He says, um, 
he tried an experiment. He started breathing less to relax his chest and stomach and sip air through his nose. A few minutes later, the dropping pain in his head, stomach, and heart disappeared. Uh, then this guy named Brun Brunko returned to the heavy breathing he had been doing minutes earlier. W uh, within only five inhales, yeah. the pain returned. He had this pain when he had the breathing hard, right? What if overbreathing wasn't the result of hypertension and headaches, but the cause? In other words, overbreathing caused the hypertension and the headaches, you know, the high blood pressure and the headaches. Breathing just 20% or even 10% more than the body needs could overwork our system. Hmm. So he took a walk. He, uh, he went down to the asthma ward. He found a man stooped over, fighting suffocation, gasping for air, um, Butenko, but, B-U-T-E-Y-K-O. It's Russian. How would you say that, right? But, Butiko, okay, Butiko, I'm going to call him Butiko, approached and, sh and, and showed him that the man that had to, was suffocating and gasping for air, the technique he'd been using on himself. After a few minutes, the patient calmed down, he inhaled and careful, he inhaled a careful and clear breath through his nose and then calmly exhaled. Suddenly, his face flushed with color, the asthma attack was over. Asthma and hypertension from over breathing. Okay, this is this is not a doctor. This is the whole thing, the whole medical thing. This is not a doctor. This guy was a mechanic. He started, you know, da, 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 da. isn't that amazing? Who would have thunk it? Okay. So all I'm trying to say, well, I get, I'm going to I'm going to tell you more about the book. But you know, you look. Stop studying this. Stop listening. I'm not going to tell you not to do something. But here's what you need to do. <laughs> Learn how to breathe, <laughs> meditate, chill out, and uh, you know what? It did you have this thing? Um, Neely Fuller Jr. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. says this thing. He said, "When a, when when you're a cop approach, don't fuss, don't don't fight, don't flee, don't fuss, don't fight, don't flee, something like that, right there." Well, this is kind of telling you: be calm and breathe, breathe, breathe. This little suggestion for me. T from the Patterson Secretary of Transit Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect or what I suspect from reading this book here. Check you later.